Last year, an investigation from one of our sister stations found some coroners in Kentucky were not qualified because they were not keeping up with yearly training. But after the investigation, the Kentucky Coroners Association got to work to change the laws. Investigative reporter Miranda Combs has the update. If they get there before emergency services, they have the same rights uh, and access as the general public does. It's not a good sign to see even one of these, but a parking lot full. In fact, they may be up on the scene dropping their cameras and microphones and trying to render aid. Ask anyone inside and it is a good thing. Treat the media uh, like the enemy and they're more likely to treat you the same way. Most reporters are not out to get you. Some of them made the trip to this Moorhead classroom though because of this. Our Department of Criminal Justice records show you haven't had training since 2005. Is that right? You don't remember going to it? Last year, our investigations team uncovered coroners that were unqualified to do their jobs. There were eight in Kentucky last year that weren't up to date with their required yearly training. If they don't have their training, they should not be doing post-mortem examinations. No. We showed Henry County Coroner Jimmy Pollard our list of out-of-date coroners in 2015. I, I, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. By responding, it doesn't mean that you A year has passed and a lot has changed. I started last year and, and I continuing. I tracked the training uh, from now on. This is quite a change from when we first approached you last year when we showed you the list and you had no idea. As you remember, when we talked last year, uh, there was a couple of us looked at it and, and we were amazed that these people didn't have their training. He says after our story aired, he and the Kentucky Coroners Association got to work. We looked at uh, developing some legislation that would mandate and has some teeth to it that would force these guys to get their training. They couldn't penalize the coroners directly. They are elected officials, but they could address the deputy coroners. They wrote House Bill 434, which backs up the original law by saying if a deputy coroner doesn't get required yearly training, they're out. The meat of the bill says if you don't get your training within your calendar year that you are required to do so, then at the end of that calendar year, January 1, you must resign your position as deputy coroner. The law went into effect July 1. Attendance at classes like this one are up. It has been effective. We owe it to the people. I mean, this is what we're, this is our job. This is what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, and, and to keep up and do a good job in death investigation, it takes training. The new law reads a deputy coroner that fails to get their yearly training and has to resign the position can be reinstated if they go back and complete the initial 40-hour training course. The yearly update in service is just 18 hours.